obviously, you know, very sad about the news. Me and Coach Rice really had a special relationship. Obviously, uh, known him for a very long time, played for his brother, known his family for a very long time. And he actually offered me my first college scholarship when he was at BYU. And, you know, me and him were very close and we will continue to be very close, um, you know, for, you know, for, for a lifetime. You know, that's the type of relationship we have. Um, you know, unfortunately, the, the news broke and part of the part of it. And, uh, you know, we got to move on, you know, you know, we have our we have the team's got you know full support for Coach Simon and staff, and you know all we're worried about is winning our next game on Tuesday. We're disappointed with uh, you know with our performance as of late, so um, we're just making sure we're staying together and then uh, trying to um, learn from our mistakes and then apply it moving forward. How do you personally take the news? Um, I mean, it's it's definitely hard um, having to. Um, Getting to know Coach Rice for the past few months with recruiting and everything, but um, at this point we gotta um, move forward and keep uh, doing the things that we're capable of doing. It's been a little bit surreal. It's just not not something that uh, you know even 48 hours ago was even a thought. You know, especially the the latter half of that in terms of taking over the program and that sort of thing. You know, um, you know, but it, it, so it's been a little bit of a whirlwind. You know, you have a lot of lot of people to talk to, a lot of lot of uh, people to, you know, really keep this thing moving in one direction and stay together, and and uh, you know, so it's it's been quite a few conversations, and communication, and making sure that you know we have hey we have 15 games left in this thing, it's, there's plenty of season to go, and we we, we, we can do still do special things. You know, you know, we built those relationships, and for me to you know kind of like not. Give my give my all the rest of the season and the rest of my career, you know, would be wrong. It would it would be selfish of me. And you know, I'm here. I'm a UNLV Rebel. Um, that's that's what I am. You know, that's that's what I chose to be. And that's what I'll continue to be. Um, I mean, this whole thing is about the team. I'm not really worried about my personal status. But um, like you said, we have 15 more games. And that's the great thing about it because I mean, we have plenty of time left to turn this thing around. So. Um, we're all just, you know, trying to stay unified, and then we're just going to take um, what our coaches are giving us and then apply moving forward. Because we, we can still have a special season. Yeah, we we address this. We talked about, you know, handling adversity. You know, this is a special group, and we're we're in a special place, and we certainly have a lot of things that we can accomplish and do, and uh, you know, and staying together and, and really a little bit of a bunker mentality. This is. This, this is our team, this is each other, which you have who's to your left and to your right. We gotta, we gotta get through this together. Um, but we're close, you know, we're close to figuring it out. And, you know, once we uh, can get back to, you know, playing, playing basketball and, you know, getting our groove back, I think we'll be fine. And, uh, you know, we're excited to get back to the court tomorrow. You know, we fully expect, you know, all the Rebel fans out here in Las Vegas to come out and support us, um, you know, because this is a very a team that, you know, Although we've dropped some games of, of late, that you know it's a team that we can still, you know, the fans can still support. You know, cause it's a guy, a team full of great guys. You know, we have a great coaching staff, and um, you know, we're gonna play our hearts out for our, for the for the UNLV program.